It feels like you're on a different planet. Wallahi, it feels like you're on a different planet. They're living in abject poverty, living in the dirt, in every one of those locations. Uh, every time we ask them, um, how do you, like, do you even know where your next meal is coming from? They said categorically they had no idea where their next meal is coming from. And they said simply this, and I want to share this message with you. They said simply this, we raise our hands in dua to Allah that He sends people, Ahlul Khair to us. That Allah sends to us good people. And Wallahi, this is what this is. Alhamdulillah, you're good people, you're Ahl Khair, you're people that when the people of Gaza raise their hands in dua and our, the beneficiaries we have around the world, they ask Allah for help and Allah sends good people to their assistance and aid. And that's who you are. And I recognize that fact. That, and we will share these I images, these videos that we're collecting today with our brothers and sisters in Gaza so that they can see you. And the reality is, let's be real, how many of you are actually going to go to Gaza? Just out of show of hands, who's ever been to Gaza? Who's ever been to Gaza? Maybe just very little, very little. Or another question, who's who's prayed in Masjid Al-Aqsa? Few more hands. But again, it's very little. Brothers and sisters, we, will, we must never forget our brothers and sisters in Palestine, in the blessed land of, of Sham. And you are Ahl Khair, You're the, you are the response to their du'as. And we know the power of their du'as. We know that, Allah, we know that. The Prophet ﷺ even said, Ittaku da'wat al Be be aware, be fearful of the du'a of the one who's oppressed. Because there's no hijab between that, that person's du'a and Allah Himself. Their du'as are mustajab. And we ask Allah to use us in response to the du'as. And it is sad. What's happening in Afghanistan? Millions don't know where their next meal is coming from. What's happening in Syria? Same situation. What's happening in Yemen? Same situation. The only way I could mentally process this, and I said this to the people in every one of those lands, I said, know that Allah loves you. Because the Prophet ﷺ said that in Allah ida ahabba qawman ibtalahum. Indeed, Allah, when He loves the people, He tests them. I said, this is your test. You're being raised in darajat. You're being raised in degrees with your Lord. So you will have higher stations on the Day of Judgment and especially in, uh, 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 in Jannah, inshallah. And it's our honor, it's our, Wallahi, it's our honor to serve those people, be they be in, in Afghanistan, Yemen, and Syria, and today in Gaza. I would also encourage to mention one final thing as well. You came out for the, for the people of Gaza today. We urge you also to walk for the children of war on Saturday the 23rd of April. It's the children of World War which will be at the Queen Elizabeth Park. The, uh, the cause is amazing. As you will appreciate, it's in the last 10 days of Ramadan. We'll be raising money to provide iftar to the children of war in Syria, Yemen, Afghanistan, the Rohingya, Kashmir, across the world where people are suffering and specifically the ch children. Something absolutely amazing I must share with you. The fundraising target is really intriguing. It's 200 pounds. Why? 200 pounds will provide two Ramadan food parcels in those uh, war zones. But where it gets amazing, Wallahi, you know, we're all bargain hunters, right? We all want to hear a bargain. How about this for a bargain? A Ramadan food parcel in those uh, war zones costs 100 pounds. That 100 pound Ramadan food parcel can provide 420 meals for a family of seven for the entire month of Ramadan. Their suhoor and their iftar. When you cross reference this with what the Prophet said, he said, that if you provide iftar to a person, you'll gain the reward of that iftar, of that fast. We've all heard this hadith, right? It's a famous hadith. Put your hand up if you've heard that hadith before. If you open somebody's fast, you'll gain that reward as well. You've heard the hadith. In fact, I encourage my children, and the children especially, you know in Ramadan, you make sure you're providing the dates and the water to your family members, and inshallah, you'll gain that reward. But these are Ramadan fasts. You, for one, a 100 pound donation, you could gain the reward of 210 Ramadan fasts. 210 Ramadan fast that would take me seven years to gain that reward. Now imagine if you do the full target and it's 200 pounds, that's two Ramadan food parcels, that's 420 Ramadan fast, that's 14 years worth of fasting. It's a bargain from Allah. So we'd encourage you, thank you so much for turning up today, but we'd encourage you to join us as well on Saturday the 23rd of April at the Queen Elizabeth Park where we're raising funds to provide iftar to the children of war around the Ummah, inshallah. And I think I've said enough, right? So I'm going to hand it back to Khalil. Jazakallah. You can now understand why when I get into the mode of fundraising, we can get going. Alhamdulillah, and I apologize for taking so much of your time. And tonight, if I can ask you, watch TV1. We're doing an appeal to provide lighting to the Dome of the Rock where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ascended into the heavens where we were gifted the, the, the Salah itself. Jazakallah. Brother Khalil, I think that's enough for me, yeah?